Thank you for tuning in. This is student meteorologist Paul Tashiro. I took this picture outside of Westside campus at 7 o'clock this morning showing some dense fog outside. This fog is slowly lifting and we do have some drizzle and showers outside and this will be the theme at least through the first part of Friday. Going over to the weather headlines, we will talk about Hurricane Florence in just a minute. I'm not expecting a direct impact here, but some of this moisture could make its way into the area. We'll look at that in the five-day forecast, but it's going to continue to be unsettled through the end of the week. But the good news is the weekend is looking dry, but it still will be on the humid side. Just before we get into Florence, we do have a flood advisory in effect for portions of Litchfield County until 1230 this afternoon. There's an area of heavy rain moving through, which could lead to some localized pockets of flash flooding. Now let's take a look at major Hurricane Florence, the latest from the National Hurricane Center. It's a powerful Category 4 hurricane with winds of 130 miles per hour. The track by the National Hurricane Center takes it off the coast of North Carolina tomorrow afternoon. Not sure if it's going to make landfall. Not really, uh, doesn't really matter if it does or not. This is going to be a devastating situation for coastal areas of North Carolina, Virginia, and South Carolina. We're looking at catastrophic flooding there, destructive wind damage, and life-threatening storm surge. If you know anybody in these areas, please tell them to evacuate. Let's take a look at a satellite of Florence. This is infrared, so this is looking at cloud top temperatures. Right here is the eye of Florence. Notice on the last few scans, the eye is starting to become more defined, more circular. And also notice some of these cloud tops right here are beginning to cool, these brighter reds. This is a telltale sign that Florence is going to begin strengthening over the next few hours. Coming back uh, to the United States, let's take a look at the surface map. We have a stalled out frontal boundary pretty much overhead. That's why it is unsettled. Toward north and west, though, we do have high pressure, and that will slowly build in over the weekend. Let's take a look at the current satellite. Once again, we have Florence off the southeast coast, and we have a stream of clouds along the east coast. That's in association with that frontal boundary. Current radar, we do have that area of heavy rain moving through Litchfield County into Hartford County. This is why there is that flood advisory. This will move out of the state, but we will see additional showers, maybe even a thunderstorm as the afternoon progresses, and some of those showers could be on the heavier side. So the forecast for this afternoon, cloudy and humid, showers, some heavy, chance for a thunderstorm, highs in the mid-70s. For tonight, cloudy, showers, some heavy, dense fog once again developing with lows in the upper 60s. And for tomorrow, we may actually even get a few peaks of sun in the afternoon. Continued risk for some showers, though. Highs up around 80 and continuing to be humid. And my five-day forecast, a uh, slight chance for a few showers on Friday, but high pressure is building in. This, this does dry things out for the weekend, but late Monday, some of that moisture from Florence's uh, leftovers may make their way up the coast, so we will have to keep an eye on this. As always, you could follow us on social media. I'm student meteorologist Paul Tashro. Thank you for watching.